Um, so as, as you guys know, I had radiation last weekend and my scans yesterday to see how it went. I know several of you have been wondering and I'm sorry if I've made you worry, but you gotta give a girl some time to process. Um, the short answer is it's complicated. Um, I thought it would be easier to make a video to explain it because it is so complicated, but the sh if you don't wanna watch the whole thing, the short version is radiation killed some stuff and um, there's no plan for any other treatment at this time. I maybe don't have cancer, but I maybe still do. So if you want more information, welcome to like fun story time. So, um, so to kind of explain, I'm going to explain some of the way like the cancer stuff works because it's kind of hard to understand otherwise. So the main test that we use to see if I have thyroid cancer or not is thyroglobulin. Um, it's in your blood. You have a bunch right now. It's a protein that's only produced by thyroid cells. So it's a good thing for you. But for me, since they took out my thyroid and I've done radiation to kill all the thyroid cells, this should always be zero. I should have none whatsoever. So that's why one of the reasons why thyroid cancer has a high survival rate because this is an easy blood test and so it can detect any like inkling of cancer coming back because if I have this, that means I've regrown thyroid cells. The good news is, this is zero. Um, but this has always been zero. And that's where it gets complicated. So in addition to this, you can have thyroglobulin antibodies. <coughs> Wait, sorry. <laughs> Which aren't in itself bad. Um, they're usually an autoimmune response. I have Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid and autoimmune disease, so that could be why I have these. Um, the problem with these, though, is the antibodies like to attack that. So when you're looking at a blood test and you have antibodies, you don't know if you've got antibodies and thyroglobulin, and they're like bound together like this, and then you can only see the antibodies, or if you just have antibodies with no thyroglobulin, and that's where I'm at. So, when I had my first annual checkup in fall of 2016, I had antibodies. Not a lot, uh, 28, which normal range, it depends who you're looking at. Some say below 40, some say below 100. But I had some and I didn't have any before. So because I had these and the presence of these makes it uncertain if you've got these or not, um, they did a CAT scan and the CAT scan came back negative. So they were like, all right, cool. Um, they did a blood test again, and this had jumped up to 58. And they were like, well, we don't understand why, so we're gonna keep track of it, test it again in three months. Then they switched my doctors, and I fell through a little bit of a crack, I think, and they didn't test it for a year. In March, when we tested this, it was 129, which is more than anyone should ever have. And like, while this alone doesn't mean anything, it's really odd for there to be these when there's none of those for it to like want, like this is a response to this usually. It doesn't have to be. So since I had so many of these, even though I still didn't have any of this, they didn't know if it was like this or just like a lot of this, right? So they ordered a PET scan. A uh, PET scan is your standard cancer scan. Um, it measures glucose uptake. Cancer cells eat more glucose than regular cells uh, with a radioactive tracer. And that scan showed I had some stuff here and some stuff here. So based just off of how high this was and that scan, they were gonna do radiation. They ordered the biopsy to see if I also needed surgery because you wanna cut it out as much as possible and radiation to clean the end. The biopsy came back negative, which is why I didn't have surgery. Um, but in the biopsy, he didn't biopsy the lymph nodes up here, which he should have. And there were some technical difficulties during the biopsy where for one part, they couldn't see where the needle was going in. I haven't been confident about this biopsy this whole time, but whatever. Biopsy came back negative. So the stuff that's there is maybe just scar tissue. 
and we'll just do radiation, kill off whatever little bit I have. So I had radiation and then I had a scan yesterday and that's a different scan that measures the amount of the radioactive iodine still in, that your body's taking up. So that scan showed that it killed a little bit uh, of some stuff here. So I had some cancer cells here or some thyroid cells. They took the radioactive iodine and it killed it. Um, and that's great. So from that scan, there's no evidence of disease. I am cancer free. However, and here's where it gets complicated. Um, one, so the reason, the main reason thyroid cancer has such a high survival rate, like 99% if you're under 40, is thyroid cells are the only cells in your body that absorb iodine. So to treat it, instead of having to do chemo and radiation the way other cancers do, um, you go on this low iodine diet, which is hell, and starve the cells of iodine for two weeks. And then you take this radioactive iodine and the cells are like, oh god, I'm starving, <gasps> iodine, iodine, yum, 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 yum. And they suck it up a lot and it's radioactive so it's poison and they all die. Um, so it's very effective and it doesn't kill any other cells outside of, you know, the residual radiation being processed through your body. Um, so, I mean, there's side effects and stuff, but it's not like chemotherapy that just kills any new cell. So it's very effective. Um, the problem is sometimes those cells become resistant to iodine. So, you know, they're on this new diet and they heard iodine is not the shit anymore and they don't want to eat it. So it doesn't matter if you take the radioactive iodine because they're not absorbing it anymore. <laughs> if I have that, it would not have shown up on the scan yesterday because the scan yesterday only measured cells that took up the iodine and I no longer have any cells taking up iodine. So that's good, right? The problem is this hasn't changed. Um, it was 129 in March. It was 124 yesterday. So it hasn't gone down. And while this doesn't mean anything, it's really bizarre. Like this shouldn't be there without this, especially not at such a ridiculously high rate. And it used to be zero, like April of 2016. I didn't have any of that whatsoever. I had neither. Um, so that's what we don't know. And the current plan um, is to wait three months and do another blood test. And if I still have a lot of these, since we don't know if it's doing this, right, um, then I would have another PET scan to see if it still shows uptake here. And if it does, then I'd have another biopsy. Uh, repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, if I have these cells that are resistant to iodine, then I believe it's more traditional cancer treatment, like chemotherapy and things like that. But I don't know. We don't know. Like, this doesn't mean anything by itself. But it's really bizarre. And I think that's my main issue is usually, even if you have a lot of this, even though it does this, there's still usually some of this floating around. And I don't have any of this, but I have so much of this. So it doesn't make sense. And they don't know why. And since it's a slow growing cancer, the current plan is to just sit and wait and see what happens, which is fun. Um, but it means that I'm not currently going to have any more treatment. I may be cancer free. I maybe have resistant cancer. I, I've decided to dub it Schrodinger's cancer because I both do and don't have cancer right now. It's hard to say. Um, yeah, so that's the complicated answer. Hopefully that made sense. Um, I'm going to take the rest of the weekend to just either ignore it completely or think about it or whatever and deal with shit on Monday. Um, Hey, sorry, uh, camera cut off. And I only had like 30 seconds left. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully this made sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just please keep in mind, you're not the only person asking me questions and this is not what I want to talk about all weekend. Um, like I said, I will 
figure shit out more on Monday. But in the meantime, I'm gonna have pizza tonight because I haven't had cheese in three weeks and it's gonna be amazing. So, uh, thanks for watching and I hope that made sense. Also, take a moment to appreciate my ambidextrous skills. Like, that's pretty good, right? Anyway, okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.